Hello, Barbara. I couldn't call you back until now. I'm sorry. Raymond's in the other room. He just passed out. Has he hurt you? Has no, hurt no, no. We're all right. Oh, thank goodness. Claudia, I don't understand. If he's drinking like that, why don't you do something? You don't understand. I can't talk to him. Look, um, this is not good. I mean, it's not good for, for both of you. If, if he's violent, it's dangerous. Can't you get someone to try to stop him? I asked him to talk to his brother, but he won't. Barbara, he's ashamed he lost his job, and he just won't talk to anyone. Look, um, you can't stay on in a situation like this. Not if he's drinking like that, not if he's violent. You've got to get out of there before so I can't. He's my husband. I can't just leave him. He's basically a good person. I know you don't believe that. Claudia, you have a responsibility, and not just to yourself. Barbara, I know you worried sick about him. I wouldn't let any harm come to him. Look, obviously the situation's out of control. Oh, if you need money, I'd be glad to help. I can send you enough so you can, you can get away and get a place by yourself for a while. I don't want to leave him. Why? You don't understand. I love him. How can you love him after what he's put you through? Barbara, he tried. He took on all the responsibility. It was just too much for him, losing his job and the hospital bills. But it wasn't his fault. He really tried. Well, then what are you going to do? I don't know. Claudia, he could hurt you. He could hurt you both. Don't you understand? You've got to get out of there and take him with you. I can't. Claudia, I'm begging you. I can't. I've got to stay here. Raymond needs me. I've got to try and help him. I shouldn't have called you. Look, wait, we've got to talk. I shouldn't have called you. There's nothing you can do. I can't talk anymore. Claudia! <laughs> Barbara? <gasps> How long have you been here? Barbara, what is it? I can't explain. Well, who is that? Who's Claudia? Barbara, you've never mentioned her. Who is she? And why did she call you in the middle of the night? Barbara, you can trust me. Why don't you tell me? Oh, God. Please forgive me. I didn't know. Barbara, I want to help you. Annie, please. I want to help. You can't. <laughs> Come on in. Thank you. Do you have any trouble finding the place? No, none. Good. It's uh, good to see you out at the hospital. You look very well. Oh, it was nice of you to come and see me there. Well, as I said, I'm terribly grateful no, to you. No, I'm not. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Melinda told you what it was I wanted to have done here, the cabinets and the shelves. She said that you did a beautiful job at the bookstore and that you are a master carpenter. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to take a word for it. The fire destroyed it all. Mm, yeah, I know it did. Uh, well, I guess I should show you where I want things put. Uh, I didn't draw up any kind of a plan, but um, what I had in mind was, first of all, I want to have some cabinets uh, on either side of the fireplace. How high? Well, about uh, 30 inches, maybe. And I think they should be at least, uh, I don't know, 16 to 18 inches deep. Anything else? Yeah, well, then I want the shelves above the cabinet. You see, I just moved in here a, f a few months ago, and there's no room for my books. <laughs> I mean, they're still out in the garage, uh, packed in cases and everything. Well, that's not so good. They don't get read that way, do they? Yeah, you're, you're right, they don't. Anyway, I would like to have the bookshelves on both sides of the fireplace, too. Ah, well, that's, that's a good thing. Uh-huh. So. Make the room look a lot warmer, more like a home. Yeah, yes, I guess it will. 
Is there anything else? Well, I did have some things that I wanted to have done out in the kitchen. Well, I think first I should have an estimate because, you see, I'm not sure that I can afford to do everything all at once. <laughs> okay. I'll make some measurements and then I'll check out the cost of the lumber. It goes up almost every month. Uh -huh. Now, what kind of wood do you want? I, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I have no idea. Well, why don't I make an estimate for the kind I think will work in here? Maybe uh, birch and mahogany and walnut. I'll bring you some samples and you can, uh, you can choose then. Okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Am I going to be in your way if I do some measuring here now? No, no. Go right ahead. Would you uh, take this over to the end of the wall there, please? Okay. Thank you. Right over here. Now, the cost of the, uh, the cost is going to depend upon the wood you choose. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. The labor's the same. It always is. Let's see. But, but don't worry. I work well, and I work fast. Oh, I'm sure you do. I don't seem a braggart. Do I? Mm, no, you seem, uh, not a braggart. Well, I hope not. A wise man once said, modesty once extinguished knows not how to return. Who said that? A Roman statesman called Seneca. When a man thinks well, his thoughts remain. Don't you think so? Yes. Well. The shelves. Yes, the shelves. Did you get any sleep at all last night? I'm all right. No, you're not all right. That call upset you terribly. You have enough to worry about without this. Barbara, obviously your friend is in a lot of trouble. Annie, look, I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry. I want you to call Bob. No. I can't help, and I don't want him to know. Now, Barbara, whatever is wrong, the situation may not be as hopeless as you think. Now, you're upset. You have been upset for weeks, and you're worn down. Now, maybe if you talk to someone else, you can look at this objectively, and then you can decide what to do. And if you don't, maybe you'll decide nothing can be done. And, and I should forget about it, huh? Well, I can't. I could never forget. Do you want me to stay with you today? I'm all right. You're sure? Sure. All right. I'm late. Are you ex expecting another call from her today? I don't know. Why do you push everyone away? I can't explain. Will you call me at the lab if you need me? I just wanted to find out about work, and I guess I just wanted to come and see the place. Oh, well, <laughs> I think we might need a little paint. <laughs> Boy, I can't, I just still can't believe it. Wow, it happened so fast. I know. I was trapped in that room. Gosh, there was so much smoke all over the place you couldn't breathe. And they came all the way this way to get me. Wow. 
Says the whole place was just engulfed in flames. We owe him a lot. He was really wonderful. Well, anyway, I came by to find out what are you going to be doing while you rebuild about the staff. Oh, <laughs> Carol and I were talking about that a little earlier. Of course, there's not too much to be done around here. Um, but there is the bookstore branch over at the hospital. And uh, you are certainly going to be needed there. You've got a job, my dear. Oh, Lisa, thank you. Don't thank me. Look, you're very good at your work. Mm. Lisa, if you do use me, mm -hmm. I would really like to start working right away. I, I will only work part-time, of course, because I do have to take it easy for a while. I'm sure you do. Well, in that case, why don't you uh, come over to uh, the hospital bookstore tomorrow and work for a couple of hours and just see how you feel. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. Yeah. You do that, and now I want you to go home and get some rest or do something pleasant, but get out of here. <laughs> Oh, gosh, I came by because I wanted to help you sort of pick things up. Oh, we, really, we, uh, I think that we're doing very well, don't you think, Carol? Mm-hmm. And it's not as if we were uh, open for business or anything. No. <laughs> so you, you go ahead now, and we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. See you tonight. Bye-bye. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you for very much. Right? You're welcome. Be careful. Oh. Take care of yourself, Melinda. I will. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. She must have nightmares about this place. I know I do. Perfectly natural, too. I guess that's why she came over here. Sometimes when you see things in the broad daylight, it keeps you from being so haunted. Lisa? Like yeah? Oh, Brad. Hi. Come on in. Carol, Hello. honey, would you go in the back and get some more of those boxes that yeah. are... Hi. Hi. You were late for your lecture class this morning. That's the least of it. I missed my obstetrics class, too. Why? I had a problem. Anything you'd like to elaborate on? No. You know, Annie, uh, you're doing pretty good, but you cannot afford to cut classes. I know. So why'd you cut it? I had to. Oh, were you uh, ill? Yes, desperately ill. Well, you know, if you can cut the wisecracks here, I, uh, I've got a deal for you. What deal? Well, you've got uh, some exams coming up, right? <laughs> Believe me, I'm well aware of that. Uh, how uh, do you think you're going to do them? My best. Well, you know something? If you'd give it your best shot, I think you could be uh, in the top of your class. But you've got to work at it. Jeff, I'm doing all I can. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. How would you like me to work with you? Uh, we did pretty good the last time. Now I can't ask you to do that. Why not? I mean, it's no big deal. I uh, live right down the hall. Thanks. I'm very grateful. Good. Then we'll do it. Oh, uh, I wanted to ask you something. Yeah. No, I wanted to tell you something. Uh, have you seen Doug lately? No. Well, um, I wanted to warn you. Uh, maybe warn is not the right word. Uh, but he will be coming down to see you most likely. Why? We had a little uh, talk. Actually, it was more like an argument. Uh, and I've got the distinct impression he wants to see you. Thanks. He hasn't forgotten about you, Annie. Jeff, about the studying, you set the schedule, OK? Yeah, sure. Bye. Okay, I just hey, about got it now. Okay, all right, now band down on. the hatches and get out the glasses. Yes, all right, all right. Cap. Oh, yes, get our champagne glasses from under the rubble. I'm sure uh, we must have dozens. Yeah, sure, they're coming right up. I yeah. gotta get them in the paper bag there. Get them out. I mean, you really? <laughs> yeah, I brought some oh, in there. You really did. Brad, for goodness. Are you ready on this yes, now? Yes. We're ready. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> all right, all right. Congratulations. <laughs> oh, my, how exciting. <laughs> Well, now, everything. he certainly... Oh, well, he always does. <laughs> <laughs> now, All right. get your glass. I, got it. I am going to propose a toast. And the toast is to Brad and to his wonderful new land he's so excited about mm -hmm. and the beautiful horses no, he's coming No, 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 wait, wait a minute. Now, I, now, I brought the champagne, oh. so I get to give the toast, okay? 
This is Talisa, a wonderful lady. Mm, I'll drink to that. Well, so will I. Okay, <laughs> Thank you, one and all. <laughs> oh, he's such a happy man. Uh, yes, I am. Oh, tell me, uh, Brad, uh, was everybody there when you signed the paper at the office? I mean, Bob and everything? Oh, yeah, they were all there. They all had to sign. Mm. I bet everybody was just as excited as you, huh? But... Um, I'm sure they were. Good. Well, um, they weren't doing anything with the land anyway, and after all, you're going to put it to good use. You bet I will. Mm -hmm. Hey, I have a wonderful idea. You know what you ought to do? Mm. You ought to get your students uh, over there at the university and, and take them over and show them your new property and show them how, oh, all that rock formation and things. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Carol, you would be so surprised. This man knows so much about geology. Well, he should know about <laughs> geology. <laughs> but he knows about everything about the earth. It is just fascinating. You'd be amazed. Is that why you wanted the property? Well, yeah, and then I want to raise some horses. And oh, Listen, I'm nice. going to go out there this afternoon. How would you like to come along with me? Oh, I would love to come out there with you and survey your new kingdom, but I'm afraid I can't. How come? Hmm. Because I have to stay here and survey my burnt-out kingdom. Mm. Well, I think you might have a better time if you came with me. Oh, I don't know how you can possibly say that. Carol and I have such a good time going through the ashes. We never know what we might find. It's just a ball. <laughs> <laughs> and I better get back to it, I guess. All right. Well, uh, thank you again. Oh, yes, and uh, have fun today. I will. Right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Hello? Hi, it's Tom. Oh, hi. How are you? Okay. I'd like to come over and see you. Are you going to be there this afternoon? Yeah, I don't think you should come over, Tom. Well, I'd like to. I I'm okay. Barbara, if you don't want to tell me what's bothering you, that's okay. But I really want to see you. Okay. Be over as soon as I can get away. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I know th what is this one? Uh, this is the walnut, mm -hmm. and this is the way it looks when it's finished. Oh, golly, that's really beautiful, mm -hmm. isn't it? Now, the walnut costs more than the birch. And the mahogany is not cheap either. Now, here, look. I've got all of the total costs right here. <laughs> well, I tell you, we can forget about the mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it costs a lot. Oh, I'll say it does. Um, gee, I don't know, Nick. What do you think? It's not my house. Well, you want to forget the whole no, thing? No, 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 not at all. I just can't really make up my mind about the wood. Do you want some advice? Please. Forget about the cost. What wood do you like the best? Well, <laughs> I don't know. It just seems to me that the, that the walnut would look best in here, you know, in this room. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. You did, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the walnuts are the best. Now, I'll make you some beautiful cabinets. You'll love them. I'm ah, sure. There I go again. <laughs> <laughs> but if you don't like them, you don't have to pay for them. Well, I couldn't ask for a better deal than that. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. Hmm. Hi, oh, Kim. Hi, honey. Hi. Come on in. Look who's here. Oh, hi, Nick. Hi. Oh, I just came back to bring this book that you loaned me. Well, thank you. Gee, you know, I forgot all about it. It was really good. I liked it. Thanks. Well, I'm glad. Well, I guess Nick and I just about have everything set here. Well, that's terrific. Yeah. I guess I shouldn't do this, but I'm having him make everything in walnut. Oh, <laughs> boy. I think it's going to be so pretty. When do you think you could start? Tomorrow. Fantastic. Uh, you think we ought to throw up some kind of a contract or something like that? Well, you have my word, I have yours. What more do we need? <laughs> okay. Honey, I have you to thank for this, and I just know it's going to be beautiful. Well, 
I, uh, I better go check the cost of the wood. Now, are you sure you want the walnut? Positive, positive. Can you stay a while? Uh, no, no, I really do have to go. I just wanted to bring back that book and check out how things are, but I should run along. Oh, well, we're all fine here. What about you? Are you, uh, taking it easy? Yes, I'm going back to work, but only part-time okay, for a while. Okay, but now remember, don't rush it. Kim, please, you don't have to worry about me. <laughs> I'll worry as much as I want. Um, so I'll see you tomorrow, and, uh, thank you very much for everything. My pleasure. And I'll see you soon. Oh, okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, here, let me help you with oh. the door. And your coat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> One arm. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Kim. Goodbye. Hi, Annie. Hi. Listen, I need to talk to you. It's important. Won't take long. All right. Well, I just came out of a board meeting. They're not too happy with the job I've been doing. I'm sorry. Well, they have every right to complain. I've got to get myself back on the track. I'm sure you will, Doug. Right. Annie, I've been trying to forget you, and I can't. Doug. Look, Marcia has agreed to the divorce. I'm not asking for things to be like they were before. I told you how I feel. All right. I don't blame you for being angry. I know I didn't handle things right. And I know I hurt you. I'm not. All I want is a chance, another chance. I'm not angry. I'm all right. It's just over. You loved me once. You left me to go back to Marcia just too many times. Doug, if you're unhappy now, I'm sorry. And I hope you can get things back together again because I hate seeing you like this. Annie? Oh. Oh, excuse me. Brad, how did you know how to find me? Uh, I'll tell you, it wasn't easy. Ah, uh, Brad, this is Doug Campbell. Doug, this is Brad Hollister. Huh. Nice how to meet you? you. Nice to meet you. Doug is the hospital administrator. Oh, the brass. Hey, okay, okay. Uh, listen, I came by to follow through on our conversation this morning. Well, I think I'll be leaving. Doug, if you'd like to talk more. No, no. I think it's been said. I'm awfully sorry. I, I guess maybe I came in in the middle of something. Don't apologize. I'm glad you came. It's snowing. Really? Yeah, it started as soon as I left the restaurant. This is for you and me from the Golden Dragon. Golden Dragon? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't tell me. Yeah, a five-course dinner and two fortune cookies. You are crazy. <laughs> Maybe I should have warned you. Well. Why don't we go over to my place and heat it up? It'd do you good to get out. Yeah, okay. You're right. When we get to my place, you can call and tell your friend where you are. Thanks. I'll get my coat. Okay. You know, maybe I should have hidden this bag and then just served up the food like I cooked it myself. Don, you can do a lot of things, but, um, gourmet Chinese cooking? No? Uh-uh. Oh, well. <laughs> well, this is where I spend half my life. Well, hey, I'll tell you, this is a beautiful lab. Oh, really? I've, uh, not heard many people call this place beautiful. Are you kidding? No, they usually refer to this place as cold and antiseptic. Oh, to me, it's kind of homey. <laughs> homey? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you know, I spent a lot of time in geology labs. So what is a nice woman like you doing in a lab coat? Well, Dad is head of the research unit here. I'm just following in his footsteps. Oh, you close to your dad? Yeah, pretty close. Uh, I'd like to meet him sometime. Well, you will, now that we're neighbors. Hey, listen, uh, I'm thinking about renting one of Shirley's horses tomorrow and riding out over my property. 
right out over my property. That has kind of a nice frontier sound, don't you think? Yeah, I guess it does. So, uh, what do you think? Would you like to come along? Tomorrow? Well, if it doesn't snow too hard. Right, I really can't. I've got some tests tomorrow, and I really have to study. Oh, you sure you couldn't take a couple of hours off? You said yourself not really does you a lot of good if you get out there. <clears throat> Annie, I've uh, only got a half an hour. You want to dig in or not? Yeah, I want to study. Jeff, this is Brad Hollister. Brad, Jeff Ward. Hello. Hello. Nice Jeff to meet you. Jeff is the uh, acting head of surgery. Oh, another one of the brass around here, huh? Uh, listen, I won't keep you any longer. Uh, I suppose dinner's out then, too? I am afraid so, studying. Okay, well, um, listen, thanks for showing me around the lab, okay? And good luck on your exams. <laughs> thanks, Brad. I'll see you now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Who was that? That was my neighbor. He just uh, bought the property near ours. Uh-huh. Well, I uh, don't want to cut into your social life or anything, but you did say you wanted to work, right? I do, I do. Well, then, uh, where's your book? It's right here. Let's get to it, huh? Uh, what do you know about Chapter 10? Well, I know one thing, that it's uh, right after cholecystitis in Chapter 9. <laughs> Grant, I don't understand. If Joyce was in San Francisco all of that time, you... Yes, but you'd think she would have tried to look up somebody. I see. Who else? Uh-huh. When do you think you'll be back? No, I... I haven't decided yet. Yeah, well, thanks for calling. So long. Well, he got into San Francisco yesterday, and he looked up some of the people that he and Joyce knew when they lived there, and apparently she didn't get in touch with any of them. Well, if she wanted us all to believe that she was dead, why would she contact anybody that Grant knew? Yeah. I just wonder if she was in San Francisco all of that time. The psychiatrist said that he treated her regularly, didn't he? Yeah. Well, anyway, he's got some other people to call. Maybe you'll have better luck with one of them. Donald, what is it? What is it you expect to find out? If we could just find somebody that saw her in San Francisco and could tell us what her life was like there, right? Right now, all we know is what the psychiatrist told us, which isn't much at all. I mean, he wasn't free to tell us much of anything. Well, not to mention the things he may not know about. Joyce could have lied to him. She's done that before. Yeah, yeah. So maybe those good marks that he gave her aren't all that meaningful. Yes, I know that. I hope you do. Because Grant thinks she's telling the truth. Well, you have to understand that Grant has a lot of memories of happier times with her. Yeah, well, we have memories too. Yes, I know. I know that you think I'm being too hard on her. Sometimes, you know, I'm, I'm just afraid that She's going to convince everybody sooner or later, later, everybody except me. I don't want to seem unreasonable, Donald. Mary, I will never forget what she did, but I am not interested in revenge. Frankly, I would like to believe that she has changed. I want to avoid a trial and having everything dredged up again. I just want to put everything behind us. Been here long? Yeah, too long. Don't you think it's time you knocked off? I plan to leave soon. Insurance gonna cover all of this? Oh, I think they'll cover most of it. But still, oh, Bob, it just breaks my heart. I had to write to Penny, of course. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> the fire department told me how the fire began. You, would you like to guess? No. How? Some looking heater over there. That's how it started. I just put up some curtains. <laughs> I should have known better than to do that, and the heater was there. It just. Accidents happen. Yep, they sure do. Well, um, I hear that uh, you and the family sold that uh, land out there in the country. Yeah. Who told you? Brad Hollister came by. Bob, you. Uh, you know, I'm sort of uh, instrumental in that transaction there. Well, you sure were. You introduced us. Well, now, it was more than that. You, you see... know, between you and me, yeah. I never would have sold it. I hope that maybe you'd uh, sort of changed your mind since then. I know you weren't very pleased the other day. Oh, I went along with, uh, 
with Mom and Dad and Donald, but I really didn't want to sell it. I say you will. I interrupted you. What were you going to say? Oh, uh, I was going to say me. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. Isn't that funny? Well, it certainly couldn't have been very important. I think I finally got it going. Not only can I not cook Chinese food, can't even make it as a Boy Scout. It's nice. Hell. I wonder if it's still snowing. No, I think it stopped. How are you feeling? Glad you asked me over. I was afraid you wouldn't come. Oh, you want to help me? <laughs> you want me to? No, you just stay right here. There. Oh, it feels good. I wish I could start over. Do you mean us? That? Other things, too. Why can't you? Choices I've made in my life. Mistakes. Sometimes I wish I could go back, turn time back, and have that choice again. And if that could happen, I'd probably make the same decision all over again. What is it that you regret so much? I'd like... I'd like for just one night to forget it. You are so beautiful. What's the matter? <laughs> Barbara, tell me. It's no good. I want you to, to trust me. You've got to tell me. I want to help you. Tom, I want to tell you. I, I 
feel like I'd die if I don't tell someone. Barbara, well, then you must. Tell me. Tom, three years ago, I had a baby. 